Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube, I'm Jen. Today we are going to open up a box um, from my creative scrapbook. Um, this is a Premier, premium, premium limited edition kit um, that I do get every month. Um, the intent is to, sorry for the noise, these are always really hard to open. Um, the intent is to make a scrapbook page. I love scrapbooks. I used to do scrapbooks all the time. Um, but lately I do more art journaling than anything else. Um, art journaling mixed media. So I usually turn these into something like that. So we'll see what happens this month. Um, but this is the little flyer from my creative scrapbook. Um, you get this flyer every month that tells you a little bit about their, um, company or not company, but program my creative scrapbook.com. You can go on their website, look at all the design team galleries. They have multiple options. Um, I happen to pick the premium or limited edition something. I think limited edition one is the one I get. Um, but the sample or the layout that they give you is the same for every box. Um, so some of these embellishments actually probably won't be in this box. They're usually in the regular box, but it gives you an idea of what kind of design layout you can use, helps you learn. Um, and then there's always, um, artists, um, designers on their website that'll show you examples of, um, what to make. So there's that. And this also tells you it fills on the 27th of the month, um, and tells you all about that. So, and it usually ships... Um, the fifth of each month, but I actually received it today and it is the sixth. So I don't think it shipped on the fifth this month. I think they shipped it on Friday. They ship it, um, priority mail. So it comes super fast once they mail it, which is very awesome. Always comes at the beginning of the month. Um, so first up is some mica flakes, flakes from Art Ingredients, Finnabar. Um, these look like kind of a little yellowish color. Uh, let me open it so you can actually see it. Gold leaf is what it says. And it actually looks more gold now that it's open than it did on the side of the jar. It just looked yellow. Um, so very pretty. Very cool. Um, they always include these amazing flowers, usually from Prima. Um, they usually, they all coordinate. They're very cool. So, um, this month looks like we've got some very pretty color schemes going on. It's like a burgundy and a blue. Sorry about that. I did, apparently did not mute my cell phone. Um, before this, so give me one second. I will do that. Okay. Um, so very pretty flowers. And then they're, they're different kits, but they always coordinate. Um, so they're really cool. You can definitely use them together. Um, these ones appear to be more silk, um, than these ones. So again, from Prima. I really like these little guys. They look really nice with the green. Um, and then this one's got little packs. So a little pack of white, a little pack of burgundy, a little pack of blue, and then the leaves. So that's really neat too. And then there's always some cool embellishments. Um, we've got some ephemera stickers. Ephemera and stickers. So here's the cool stickers. Double sided. Um, and then the ephemera. And these are from Darcel. Primo Marketing. Those so they're from Primo Marketing. This beautiful life. You can see how these would be perfect for scrapbooking. 
but they're also perfect for art journaling, blessings. And look at how the uh, embellishments coordinate with the flowers that they sent. Looks like there's one of each of these. Determined, gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. Love, wild soul, pretty butterfly. Some little doodads. So that's super cool. And then, of course, the stickers. That we already saw. I also like to use these little, the designed um, tags. And then I've got some chipboard stickers um, that coordinate that are very cool. 28 pieces, so that side and this side. I love these roses. And then we've got some chipboard that was taped to something. Um, this one's a thin chipboard. Um, creative embellishments. They're pretty. Very lacy. And a huge stencil from Heidi Swap. Gorgeous papers. Which always have things you can cut out as well. Double sided. These are from Primo Marketing. To coordinate with the flowers. I love the gold accents on these. These two are the same on this side. Let's see if they're the same on the other side. They are. Occasionally they'll um, give you some that are the same, which I love, so then I don't have to pick which slide I want to use. So let's see if this one's the same. Close, but not the same. But this one's the same. Am I confusing you yet? I feel like I'm playing a, a game of lose the ball, find the ball. These two match. Those two match. So those two are the same right there. I've got these two that are the same. And yeah, Prima Marketing. They look like they're all from Prima Marketing this time. Sometimes they have a mix. And then we've got these papers that are separate. With a little gold foiling on it. So, there you have it. Um, let me know what you think about this kit in the comments below. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a page. Um, back in November, I actually took an old three ring binder um, and I'm converting this into um, just an art journal so and I'm probably going to keep it for these things because these are for um, my creative scrapbook because the embellishments are so thick I can't use just a regular scrapbook so I'm planning on converting this I, I just sewed the cover um, it was my old passporter for Disney um, but can see that I started um, in the November kit using this one um, so I've got November and December right there and then it's got a little tag there's nothing in there yet but when I do put something there'll be a little tag there um, so yeah I'm gonna turn this whole book into um, my creative scrapbook probably just because I can use the embellishments I can use the dimensional stuff and I don't have to worry about um, 
it not fitting because it's a three ring binder. I can take it out, I can put it in, I can take stuff out. Um, so yeah, and then of course I'll decorate the cover in the back once I get to it. So I will probably be working on the next page, skipping all of these little pictures. I'll do something like this one. And then, let's see. Maybe I'll even do both sides instead of this one. And then maybe, maybe that beautiful tag will fit inside. Now, I might have to trim it just a little bit to make it fit because of the, the holes. Um, but I can definitely use this as the tag for the inside and put some lace on top or ribbon and stick it in there. So let me know what you think, um, and yeah, time to create.